Welcome again. The IB Biology May 2016 exams is just over a month away, and the students taking the exam in May 2016 will be facing a brand new format with a brand new examination style for the first time. The good news is there is a systematic way to go about preparing thoroughly for the May 2016 examination in biology. It begins by understanding the IB Biology Guide. Let's go inside and take a look. Let's first have a look at the format of the Biology Guide. Each topic is broken up into subtopics, with each subtopic made up of understandings, together with applications and skills. It is essential that you focus first on the much more important and significant applications and skills. For in focusing on these, you will find that the understandings will be automatically covered. Let's take a look at an actual subtopic. Here we see subtopic 1.1, Introduction to Cells. As you focus your exam preparation, first look at all of these applications and make notes on each one. For example, use of stem cells to treat Stargardt's disease and one other named condition. This is the most significant application in this section. Not to forget the skill, the use of a light microscope to investigate the structure of cells and tissues with drawings of cells, and the calculation of the magnification of drawings and the actual size of structures and ultrastructures shown in drawings or micrographs. These are the two key areas in topic 1.1. But you should go on to make notes on all of the applications. Upon completing these notes, you should then visit the understandings. And if you've completed the applications and skills thoroughly, it is most likely that you will find you already understand all of these. In fact, the understandings provide a good self-assessment checklist after you've completed the more thorough study of the applications and skills. And you can click here for a full lesson where I made Stargardt's disease the centerpiece of my teaching and several other understandings followed from this. And then you can click here for a full lesson on this skill. After completing those lessons, ask yourself, have you covered all of the understandings? Treat it as a self-assessment checklist as you prepare for the examination day. Let's have a look at one more subtopic. Here we see topic 3.4, inheritance, and the applications and skills are listed here. In covering this topic, I've made the construction of Punnett grids the central skill and an application like red-green color blindness and the inheritance of blood groups key applications. The understandings will follow naturally and again they provide a very useful checklist to test your understanding after you have studied the applications in great detail. And this approach with the proper use of the biology guide is the one that I recommend especially for students preparing for the May examinations in IB Biology. For in your case, this examination is a first. And while past examination papers and the mark schemes are always excellent preparation, in your case, I recommend that you limit your use of these and focus on the use of the biology guide. But remember, that there is a specimen examination prepared by the IBO just for this purpose, especially to give you a preview of what the May exam will look like. And if you haven't yet seen the specimen paper, then you must ask your teacher to provide you a copy of the specimen paper for first examinations in May 2016. And if you still don't get it, then you can send me an email or write me a note below this video and I will send you a copy of the specimen exam. Good luck.